What's up dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. Today, we are on day something of our multi-day, multi-week adventure. Uh, we are doing a International Space Station uh, Funyun refueling. I don't, I don't know what we're bringing up here. Probably like toilet paper, uh, toothpaste, probably deodorant, uh, socks, Funyuns, probably Mountain Dew. I don't know why else would Kerbals be so green. Um, uh, oh, astronaut ice cream, that shit in a tube. Uh, okay, focus, Noel. Uh, so we are done. We've refueled. We just got to get one more of these idiots out. Because this guy's been up here for... Oops. This dude's been up here for... Kerbal time. I think it's been about two years or so since this guy's been up here. Now, you, no one really sees this build because it's not one that I made a video for. It was just something I did in my spare time. Uh, just build this thing, erect this thing. Uh, and I come up here once in a while to practice docking and undocking and whatnot. So we are going to do that. We are going to undock. Kerbal 1 is away, I think. Yes, Kerbal 1 is away. Godspeed, fellas. I can close this shield. Beauty. All right. Now, where we want to land is ironically right back there, right behind us. So we're gonna have to do a lap. We're gonna have to do a lap. Good, we got lots of sun coming ahead. So we just wanna do one lap and then if we're here, we wanna be about 30, 40 degrees behind it. All right, this is probably gonna take a lot of auto saves. I wanna do it right around, no, keep going. So I may movie magic this, because I know no one wants to see the trial and error. That would be like, this would be an hour long video of me dicking around. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna save here. There we go. And we are going to fall in somewhere just before the Kerbal Spaceport, use our engines to hopefully glide in nicely and put the wheels down. But I mean, that's the plan, theoretically. So I will get that throw right and we'll be right back. All right, I think I got her. We are really close on the last throw, so a little titch extra and we should be, we should be good to go. So let's give this a try. We're gonna float in at fast forward speeds. I have to push this nose down a bit. <clears throat> you don't want to be going through the atmosphere like that or you'll just skim right off it. You want that nose down. Remember, this is a physics simulator after all. There we go. And we got that heat shield on the front. We might as well use it. Might as well. That's where we're going to pretend it's a heat shield anyways. I realize it's just a mechanical open-closer thingamajigger. Yeah, this one's much closer than the last one. This will be... This will suffice. We will make do with this. Oh, good. Okay. Whew. Whew. Look at that go. Holy ass. 3,000 miles an hour, coming in a little steep, but that speed's coming off really quick. There we go. Nice. So now we are in control again. I gotta lose, I gotta lose a ton of speed and a ton of height. I do need a bit of vectoring though, so let's turn on the engines. There we go. Firing up the engines. All systems norm. Do a little test on the wheels. Wheels check. Things are snapping in. All right. Just did a little quick save. <laughs> Just in case. 
just in case, because I like where this positioning is. If I have to redo the landing, I will redo the landing, but I'm pretty much going to call this a, su a success or failure based on if we actually land this or not. If not, little um, Shepke, Bilgi, and Tanzer Kerman, brothers apparently, um, you know, they're, they're, their gravestones will be marble. They will have today's date on them. There will be a procession of hearses. It's going to be a sad day at the Kerbal Space Program if we lose all three of these guys in one big catastrophic failed landing. Alright, this thing is bouncing around a lot. It's real windy up here. Yeah. It's real windy. Alright, put that landing gear down. I'm going to try and slow it down a bit. Oof, kind of slammed. But no, we're good. Fire retro rockets, see if that helps us slow down at all. Nope, not at all, not with these on. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> we had a catastrophic parts failure right at the end. But you know what? Everybody's home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a little clap for that. We did good, guys. We did great. We got our craft home. It just needs probably an insurmountable amount of repairs. They would, they would honestly probably have to retire this craft. Where are you going, Aileron? Elevator? Where are you going, Elevator? Seriously, where are you going? Let's chase it. I'm curious. Is it trying to leave? Get back here. Get back here. Hey. 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 Is it outrunning me? Oh, it's outrunning me. It's flying away. It's going home. It's going to go fulfill its elevator duties. Well, guys, okay, so that was the shuttle ISS and back. Pseudo successful. Successful in that no one died. Not at all successful in that, you know, we blew off a wing. But hey, we put it down, and that's. All that matters, right? Yeah, that's all that matters. So guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you share the video. I hope you comment on the video. I hope you tell me what you're playing. I hope you found some good games. Cause I'm not playing much. I'm playing some WoW lately. Maybe I'll make some videos about that soon. Let me know what you think. All right, dudes. Until next time, cheers.